Um, hello. This is uh, a map suggestion for the map uh, DM Antiquis, I believe it's called. Hard to pronounce. Um, I'm a high level dueler, and uh, so is Nance, and we're, we've been loving this map. The map flow and the map structure is absolutely genius. It's really brilliant, and this map has a lot of potential to be a great dual map. Um, there's a couple of generic changes we have in mind. Um, firstly, with uh, this map, there's like six health packs, I believe, and 19 health files. That's a lot of health resources. A lot. Uh, however, because it's close combat and a small map, it's okay that there's so much health because uh, I feel like in duels, a lot of people are going to need to require acquire a lot of health resources. However, we can dumb down just a little bit of the amount of health files, I believe. And uh, we can get started getting rid of just a couple of the sets that are just a little unnatural. And it would just be this one right here. It's just like kind of placed there. It doesn't seem to have a real actual determined spot for it. So we can be without it. And uh, there's this one over here by this beam in the back. Really, it's, it's an awkward spot. And uh, I don't really think people are going to put too much strain into getting over there. Uh, another couple of generic situ uh, suggestions I would be to get rid of this belt, uh, boots, I'm sorry. To get rid of the boots, and uh, it's because this map has already developed like such great natural flow and movement capabilities. Boots isn't really required, yet uh, it becomes a nuisance in the map. It really doesn't allow people to utilize the true nature of the map's flow and the structure of it. And I feel like that's a waste of how good of this map is and how much potential this map has. Boots is really unnecessary, not required, and it's just... It doesn't really fit into this map. I really think that Boots really just hurts this map. And without it, I think people will get along with this map just fine. It has great flow within it. And uh, I'm going to be saying that a lot because this map really nailed how good you can use flow and movements and uh, get around places and like I said boots just does not harmonize well with that. Another suggestion is to, um, in this area if you can spawn around here or like uh, they just want to rotate around to like, getting a link done uh, it feels more like a death trap because people can, there's so many little spots where people can just peek and pop at you. There's so many little angles that you can just get uh, harassed by and poked by and it, it's just hard to really sit in this area comfortably if you wanted to and uh, it's not too big of a deal because it's just a link on here and but um, to just fix that a little bit it's just to add a wall here just to wall this one wall off just just this little angle here so that there's a little more potential and that way People that just rotate around here or get the link here, they can they have a little bit of freedom to go left or right without your opponent being able to watch or read from the middle of the section of the map and uh, determine what they have to do from there because they can just kind of scan you from either area and lock you down. And uh, this gives more movement of capability on your just more counterplay from the other player's view. Um, getting to this map is that we have a uh, we've been trying to figure out how to adjust the weapon and uh armor placement pickups and like where to really put them and we've, we've been really torn so the thing about this map is that as an example is um if if i get thigh pads right here i can just pick a go on this uh lift oh screwed up my movement but uh, here I am, <laughs> and go to belts, and pick up the belt, and then rotate to vest here, pick up vest, and then go to helmet here. That is all in one single rotation, and that just, that, that's overwhelming, in that you can just use one single rotation to get every single pickup in the game, and I know realistically, in a real dual match, you may not get all that in one swipe of a rotation however 
you will be able to contest and fight or peek and pop at every single one because you can rotate so quickly to each and every pickup. And uh, if you get a lucky rotation, you can kind of walk down the map just because of uh, you can perfectly time it to your route. And that just seems way too punishing and, and way too imbalanced. So in order to adjust that and fix that a little bit, we would put belt here. And so that way it's in one corner of the map. Just move the rockets here. And uh, since this middle of the area right here, belt as it is, isn't so overwhelmingly powerful because the this is in the middle of the map and it has connection to everywhere else on the map. And it just, it doesn't need to be there. You can replace this with a helmet here. And the map, this area would still be very utilized because it's such a powerful rotational area that a helmet being there is almost just a bonus at that point because it is still a powerful area to be in. But putting belt here is so overwhelming. So moving the helmet here, or I should say the 25 armor, I apologize, I'm still stuck on the old patches. Uh, to move the 25 armor here is uh, still strong and still keeps a good armor here. And then from here, we can move the uh, the 50 armor. We can put the 50 armor here. So because it's almost the opposite side of the map, but the issue is that you can do kind of a quick rotation through the middle of the map, the, middle, the midsection, and get to here. And it flows too evenly and too quickly. So in order to like keep away from you just getting belt and then rushing through the middle and getting the 100 armor or something like that. We would rather put a 50 there because it's less powerful, you know? And moving the 100 armor up here instead where you have to rotate and round the entire map to get it. And I feel like that puts it in way more imbalance because belt is in one side and then the middle section is met with the weakest armor, the 25 armor, and then the other side is uh, kind of the middle area where it's a 50 and a 100 and instead of uh, two powerful armors next to each other. So it would be the weakest in the middle with one, the, the strongest on one side and then two of the middle arm, middling armors on the other side. So I think that balances it out and keeps, keeps the map in good flow and puts it in better balance. However, we're still a little torn on that option because there's another option. The other option is just to remove belt entirely. And the reason is because this map is kind of small and belt itself right now as it's uh, currently implemented is a overwhelmingly strong armor and uh, has a lot of power to it. And in this map, there's enough resources that you don't need the belt to utilize it. Instead, we can just get rid of it entirely, put a vest here, so the 100 armor there, move uh, rockets here, and in this middle area, instead of a belt or any armor, we can move the shock rifle because it's a, the strongest weapon or one of the strongest weapons in the game, and always will be, honestly, in that area, and uh, put the uh, grenade launcher where you put the shock originally, and you don't need to put anything here, do anything here. This, it doesn't change the flow, it doesn't really change the map or anything. It just is, it's kind of there. It's, you don't need anything there. And uh, to move, instead to move the uh, helmet down here, because like I said, you'd still be able to rotate quickly through this middle. So putting the least strongest uh, armor over there makes balancing sense and then to put the 50 armor the middle armor in here at the farthest location of the map and i really think that keeps the flow of the map and uh keeps balance and keeps it good and i think with either of those options you have a better map than it's kind of positioned right now um we are torn on what which one is better or which one isn't better i i think that really it just comes down to your interpretation of what you would think and what you would do. We trust you to make a better decision than us. I mean, you've made such a great map already. 
uh, and it has so much more potential to be just a little better. And uh, we're torn on that, and we trust in what you decide. However, I think the general solutions that we have, like that was introduced initially, are still good changes to make regardless of which option you go to. It's just those two options are based on you and what you think. Um, thank you for listening. This is a great map, a lot of flow. And uh, we, we really love this map and we hope to see more of it and to see those uh, suggestions be implemented or improved on even. Uh, thank you again for listening. And that's it.